How's it going, Short Kings? It is unfortunately week 10. I have some sad news. <laughs> uh, you can see we are scheduled to play FIU this week. If you remember last episode, we were supposed to play Marshall. Now, we recorded a full episode. And then the video file was almost entirely unusable. I'll see if I can cut in a little bit to show you what it looked like, but it was just so, so bad. Over the middle. Oh, Howard Flanagan wide open. A bad throw. He's able to come down with it, but not many yards after the catch. She still puts us across midfield. We'll go to the air here again. And I'm going to scramble with Richie. Slide down. Get a nice, easy little gain. Not have to worry about making a throw. Um, so I'll give you a quick rundown of what happened. We did manage to beat Marshall, of course, in a close one touchdown game. Both our defensive and offensive coordinators got extra levels, so we maxed out their stamina skills. And as you can see, Hawk Disco has a new level as well, so we're going to go ahead and put that into the closer. On the recruiting front, we will lose out to Daniel Williams, but I don't think that we had this before last episode. Dominic Brigham, the 75 overall Juco corner, has committed. So we're up to three players now, and we have a few points to put towards some new guys. With a lot of these points, we're just kind of going to be looking for players that uh, we don't have the lead on, and maybe we can jump in. So Scott Olson's going to get some, even though he's only 52 overall. It's, you know, we need to get every player that we can get. And here it looks like we might not be able to get Reggie Broussard, which is a real shame. Uh, Miami has that extra five points per week. They are pulling away from us. We are 575 behind, and their visit is scheduled before us while the man is 95% locked. So if their visit goes well, he could commit on that day. Otherwise, we might get a chance with our visit the week after to stay in the battle. We have gone ahead and put in all of our points towards players. So now we just have to schedule visits. And with guys that we're not competing for, I think we're going to go earlier, uh, get them out of the way, see if we can get them committed. And then guys that we are competing for, we'll try to go later. But uh, for now, we'll set these guys up against Florida Atlantic. With all that out of the way, we can take a look to see uh, that Herb Street likes us against FIU. Um, again, <laughs> as always, they have pretty much every advantage in their favor, but I think that we're going to have a pretty solid chance to win this one. The Golden Panthers are an 83 overall to our 75. So again, no shaky bars, thankfully. And, uh, you know, hopefully this trip all the way down the Atlantic coast into Florida isn't going to be too difficult for us. FIU has a couple of pretty solid players here. Low 90s, high 80s overall. Um, Richie, Talib, Rick, all on hot streaks is really good news for us. And they've got a left end out for the rest of the season with a broken collarbone. This team looks to have a pretty potent offense. Um, Top 15 on every offensive stat, and then a pretty mediocre defense, top 50 there. So we might be struggling a bit, but again, I feel like we'll have the chance to beat these guys, even though we're on the road. Alrighty, we are here in FIU Stadium, a very uh, creative name for the stadium. And we're going to go ahead and see, can we win this coin toss? Tails never fit, and I, I was just kidding about that. Uh, we're going to start with the ball. Gio Nunez. Like I said that weird. Gio Nunez, back to return. We're going to bring this out deep in the end zone. I will always allow Gio the opportunity. That did not work. Oh, no. We're like at our own 10-yard line. This is going to be a tough drive to open up the game. One of the things that we did really well against Marshall was run the ball. I wish you guys could have seen it. Um, and we're going to see if we can continue that here today. We'll go slip screen on second and seven. And we're able to find Talib, but he's going to lose two yards. The blocking just not there. Big play here from the 11-yard line. Trying to keep the drive alive early. We're throwing it up, and oh, that one's batted out of the air. We might have had a chance to find a guy, but we're going to have to punt this one away way too early. 
See if we can get this one to bounce on the ground past the return man. No, he was ready for that. And oh no. Oh no, they're starting at the 25. This is a bad place to start for the defense. They're going to hand it off. Broken tackle. Oh man, nine and a half, almost 10 yards gained on that first play. Second and inches, they'll go to the air. And there's a sack. I don't know where that came from, but now we got a third down to work with. On third and five, they go to the air. Quarterback scrambling. I really hate how slow our guys are to react to that sometimes. We could have had him stopped. Instead, it's a first and goal. Absolutely expecting a run here on first and goal. It will be a handoff, and that's way too easy of a touchdown. Oh, if this is how this game's going to go, it's not going to be fun. All right, Gene back to return once again. I hope this doesn't become a theme. Uh, I am going to let him continue to bring these out, though. <laughs> I'm so stupid, though. Why would I? Well, first down. Irby getting a carry. Uh, going nowhere. Yikes. Second 11. Oh, wow. Uh, did not mean to throw off our back foot. So for the second time in as many drives, we have a third and long from the 11-yard line. And we're going to throw it up. That's going to be picked, isn't it? Well, that's that's not... No, that's not good. They, they're starting their second drive inside the 25. Well, I expect them to go to the ground and break 20 tackles on their way to the end zone. But instead, they go play action all the time in the world for the quarterback in the pocket. He's going to throw one into the end zone. Thankfully... We're going to break that one up. That was all too close to being another touchdown. This one's going to go to the air, and wow. I didn't, I didn't even have enough time to see what happened. We got through the line in a millisecond, and we are now able to force the fourth down. That was good from the defense. It's a shame that we're setting them up terribly. Kick is good. Well, it's 10-0, and I'm not at all. Oh, crap. I'm bringing this out, aren't I? Gene doesn't really get any blocking, but at least we got past the 25. It does not feel good to say that this is the best field position we've had all game. And <laughs> Richie can't complete a pass. Richie Kirk is 1 of 5 with one interception. That is not good. He has a man open there. Okay, we find Kevin McMillan. We get a first down. Get that monkey off our back. And now it's time to look deep. First and 10. No way that we can throw a pick, especially when we have Gene Nunez streaking down the sideline. It's caught 42 yards. We're going to go hurry up here so that they don't have a chance to review that play because there's a, uh, an awfully high chance that Gene was out of bounds. Should have been a touchdown, uh, but Richie put it a little too close to the sideline. We get the playoff. We find Irby. And we're inside the 10. First and goal. See what Noel can do on first down. Gets a couple of yards. But man, we just don't have the speed right now. We'll see what we can do from the pocket here. We had some guys open. I don't see it now. Richie's just going to run for his life. And he's going to take a big shot. Only a gate of one for that. I don't think that was worth it. Third and goal now. We go play action. I don't see anybody. No, in the back of the end zone. Carpenter's wide open. They just ignored Damian there. So we will get on the board with a touchdown. Richie started one of five, is now five and nine. That's uh, that's a good little turnaround. Let's hope that that trend continues. And let's see if the defense can get another stop. First down. And FIU goes with a screen. Two broken tackles already. Wow. Julian Williams just got 13 yards when he should have lost maybe one there. Trips left. I'm kind of expecting another screen here. And it is. It was too quick. I thought he was going to go more to the left. We could have really stuffed it, but at least we only give up a yard that time. Definitely going to be expecting a run here on second and nine. But no, they go to the air. And there's a man open. Rick Penn. He was in the right area, just couldn't get his head around. And so it's another first down given up. First down will bring the blitz, and, you know, it might have been enough if we could tackle. Instead, Alex Gardner drags two guys down for eight yards, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. 
I don't know if it's good news or bad news that we're only down three, but uh, it certainly doesn't feel like good news. We are bringing everything to stop the run here on second and two. And they will hand it off, and <laughs> we've got nobody there. Easiest gap, and a way too easy five yards to start the second quarter there. First and ten, here's another run, and <laughs> just more broken tackles, man. Second down. They're going to go to the air. There's a man wide open. Pinder into the end zone. We sold out to stop the run that time and obviously didn't work too well. We've allowed a record to be broken against us. And FIU is going to extend their lead back up to 10. Well, again, I'm bringing Gene out. All it takes it's a couple of good blocks and there it is for Gene sprung free it's not going to be a touchdown but it does get us to midfield and that's why it seems like it's almost always worth it we got an absolute powder keg in our return man there and it's almost always worth going for it and oh Kevin McMillan had a step on his man but Richie can't find him was feeling very aggressive to start the drive but now we got to work on picking up some yards and Talib is going to be able to do just that great six yards there Third and four. We've got a man open. It's Howard Flanagan. He got a little bit of a block there. And uh, we're moving the football here. See what we can do on second and seven. And oh, right over the middle is uh, Kevin McMillan. First and goal. Noel couldn't quite get the block, but still falls forward for five yards. Gets half that distance that we need. Called the toss play. We've audibled out to a pass. We've got Parker, and he got most of it. Four yards there. So third and goal from the one. We're going to see if Richie can get into the end zone. Dives over. Oh, he didn't even need to. He was in before the jump, but adds the jump for a little bit of extra flair. We bring it back to a field goal again, but can the defense get a stop? First down. They're going to go play action. Man open. Penn. What is he doing? Where's Rick, Rick's awareness? Doesn't even go up to try to stop that completion. On this first down, they're going to go play action again. All the time in the world for the quarterback, and he gets sacked from behind. We're getting a surprising amount of pressure on this quarterback today. So on this second and 15, I'm... Oh, second and 20. <laughs> a little false start. Back him up. Five wide on the second and 20. They're going to go with the screen, and don't tell me that works so well. Broken tackle, thankfully. Alex Gardner goes out of bounds, but he not before he gets 16 yards. I should have seen that coming from a mile away. Unfortunately, I didn't. And now on third and three, they will go to the air again. I see guys open. Casey can't knock him down. Thomas Owens just able to pick up that first down. There's a handoff towards the edge. Usually we have those covered pretty well. Loss of two. Here's the draw. Good job from Holland to bring him down from behind. We got a third and long here. Big third and nine. They'll go to the air again. And, ooh, there's the tackle. Let's take a timeout. A minute and ten left. We've held them maybe to a field goal. The field goal formation comes out. The kick is away. Man, we honestly got pretty close to blocking that, I think. It does go through the uprights to make it a six-point lead. But we have plenty of time and a few timeouts to work with. Nunez definitely bringing this one out again just looking for a couple of blocks and we got a couple of blocks we got another one there Gene the diving tackle saves what most likely would have been a touchdown but we have fantastic field position to work with regardless and oh I'm not doing anything with it uh we're gonna pick up some yards and then get Richie out of bounds oh my gosh that was scarier than I thought it should have been First down here. There's Howard Flanagan for another. And we're going to keep this hurry up. I would love to get out of bounds to save some time, but uh, if they're not going to cover us well, then who who cares? Uh, Got to stay in the hurry up, though. Goodness. Trying to be careful with the clock under 30 seconds now. I'm looking for Khalif James. Can we find him? Oh, he held on to it. Beautiful 15 yards there to Khalif. Looking to roll outside the pocket here. Where is the man? There it is. Howard Flanagan, touchdown. Beautiful throw that time.
This is news to me, but William Pruitt just threw the last two passes, so he's two for two with a touchdown. I don't know what happened to Richie because he's not on the injury report. Either way, we're going to take the lead with 18 seconds to go in the half. So with 14 seconds to go, it looks like they're willing just to burn the clock here. And... I'm going to be content with that. If they want to give us the lead going into the locker rooms, that's fine by me. After the way that this game started, to be in the lead is great. Defense able to get it done just enough in the offense. Figured out how to turn it on, turn it around, and start scoring points. To start the third, Jolly boots this one to a returnable position. And we'll hope we can get some good tackling. That's okay. Kept them just inside the 25. Expecting the draw on first down. It comes. I took a bad angle, and they're going to get six yards. Alex Gardner's been pretty solid this whole game. This will be another handoff as they go to the edge. And he cut it up just in time to get that first down. We're going to dial up the safety blitz here on this first down. See how it goes. They're running towards the edge. I completely whiffed, but thankfully the rest of the team's there. Still give up, giving up five yards, though. They will go to the air here. Man open. And uh, Pavlov. <laughs> Only getting two yards there. Or three yards. Third and two, though. We're bringing the blitz on this third and two. I'm calling it a run to the right. It is a run to the right. Did we get there in time? No. They just barely picked up the first down. Almost held them to the fourth and in inches, but new set of chains for them they will go with another draw and it's another just big carry I don't really know what to do right now we know when the run's coming but it feels like we can't do anything to stop it they have moved across midfield and <laughs> they're just going to continue to move aren't they five more yards this drive has really turned into one where they're grinding it out on us, and I just gave up a touchdown. I am so foolish. I was expecting another run. I brought the safety up, and yeah, you see what happened. First and goal. We will get a stop. That's good. Loss of four. Maybe a chance for goal line stand here. See what we can do as they go to the air here, and he's just going to have to throw it away. Third and goal. The chance for the stand it comes here. They will go to the air on third and goal, and he's going to have to throw it away. Apparently, Alex felt the pressure there, and we do manage to hold it there. So the field goal formation comes back out. And the kick is good. Only a two-point lead, though, for FIU. That's fantastic news for us. Gene... Hasn't had good success taking them out when they're in the middle of the field today. But we're just going to have him go up the middle. And that was a pretty solid return. See if we can put this on the ground on our first drive of the half. And wow, to leave nine yards there. That was great. To the right. It is a run to the right. Did we get there in time? No. They just barely picked up the first down. Almost held them to the fourth and in inches. But new set of chains for them. They will go with another draw, and it's another just big carry. I don't really know what to do right now. We know when the run's coming, but it feels like we can't do anything to stop it. They have moved across midfield, and <laughs> they're just going to continue to move, aren't they? Five more yards. This drive has really turned into one where they're grinding it out on us, and I just gave up a touchdown. I am so foolish. I was expecting another run. I brought the safety up, and yeah, you see what happened. First and goal. We will get a stop. That's good. Loss of four. Maybe a chance for goal line stand here. See what we can do as they go to the air here, and he's just going to have to throw it away. Third and goal. The chance for the stand it comes here. They will go to the air on third and goal, and he's going to have to throw it away. Apparently, Alex felt the pressure there, and we do manage to hold it there. So the field goal formation comes back out. And the kick is good. 
Only a two-point lead, though, for FIU. That's fantastic news for us. Gene hasn't had good success taking him out when they're in the middle of the field today. But we're just going to have him go up the middle, and that was a pretty solid return. See if we can put this on the ground on our first drive of the half. And wow, to leave nine yards there. That was great. Irby will come in. He's got a block. I'm just going to stretch that to the edge. Make sure that we pick up the first down easily. I'm not looking for a field goal on this drive, but I definitely wouldn't be against it as we're just going to get outside the pocket. Let's... I was going to say go with an easy pass to Howard Flanagan, but that was... Yikes. It is now third and ten. We're going to have to go to the air, and can I, we find the running back? No. Swatted down at the line of scrimmage as we just got drilled. And we are going to go for this on fourth and ten. That's a long ways to go. We could pick it up. Can we find him? Carpenter holds on to it through the contact, gets the first down, and keeps the drive alive. We'll try to continue to run the ball here as we are getting late in the third. Noel breaks a tackle, stays on his feet, and gets six yards out of that play. Going to the air. Ooh. Okay, Gene. Nice first down. Counter on this first down, and Irby has a lot to work with. Made a man miss. Oh, if he could have stayed on his feet, that would have been fantastic. All that it's going to take for us to win, I think is obviously scoring here and then one stop from the defense. If we get that one stop, I think it's game over in our favor. Tlaib getting the handoff there. Nice cut forward, good five yards. Right over the middle, Khalif James, first and goal, touchdown! Oh wow, way to fight through the contact for Khalif as he finds the end zone and we're gonna go for two here to try to extend the lead. Expect to see us roll out of the pocket here with Richie. Actually, McMillan, he was just open early. I, I was not certain he was going to hold on through the contact, but the two-point conversion is good. It's a six-point lead for us. The onus is on the defense at this point. As they're going to... Oh, man, they're going with a sli slip screen early. Powell does a good job avoiding the blockers, only giving up a yard. I do wish we could create a turnover at some point in this game, but it doesn't feel likely. Oh, another sack! third of the game it's third and ten could the defense hold just like this an easy three and out if the coverage is there this game could be over coming over the middle Shh. oh just barely picking up the first down i thought maybe we had a chance good route running four and a half minutes to go in this game quarterback's gonna scramble i'm gonna try to strip the ball with all oh my might man alex does not want to drop that one it's a real shame we tried like three strips there second and three this looks like a draw we snuff it out i don't know what he's doing hurtling in the backfield but it's a loss of one and another chance for the defense to get a stop big play they will go to the air coverage oh it was there i was just a little bit too far in front Julian Williams was too slow for me. Sad about that. They're going to go with the screen here. And I don't know why they continue to do this, although we're trying to strip the ball. He won't let go. Oh, after the few broken tackles, I just was really hoping for a turnover. I'm starting to get a little bit worried about the time. Three minutes left in this one. Oh, I left my mana wide open. Quarterback's going to scramble. Strip the ball, strip the ball. Oh my gosh. How can these guys continue to break tackles? Oh, is are we gonna be down one with barely any time here? These guys have all their timeouts. We're under three minutes to go. This is a handoff up the middle. That can't go for that much. How does he pinball his way through the line and pick up eight yards? I am painfully impressed by the uh, skill that these guys have shown as oh we will get a third down you know i think they have to go for this on fourth down at this point so we need two stops call this a run to the right no they go to the air guys wide open can i recover ham gets the tackle but it's first and goal two minutes to go really hoping for a big goal line stand here first and goal they're gonna go to the air guys open all over the place but we get the sack second and goal now and I'm going to start taking timeouts, honestly. My thought process at this point is that they can only run a couple more plays. They're not going to run out of time on this drive. But if they score, we might run out of time. So we got to save as much as we can at this moment. Big second and goal. We dropped them all the way to the eight. They go with a draw. One broken tackle. 
but we find him. It's third and goal from the nine. Can we get the stop here? A minute and a half to go now. Another game coming down to the wire. I really am getting tired of this. And it's fourth and goal. We're taking the second time out. A minute and 16 to go. Game on the line on this play. I don't think they would dare to put it on the ground, so I'm expecting a pass. It looks like it will go to the air. There's a man wide open in the end zone. It's, oh, it's too easy. The tight end sneaks free, and it's a tie game pending the extra point. Unable to block it. 30 to 29, a minute and 12. We need G Nunez to come alive here. Please kick it to the edge. That's all that we ask. They do it. Gene will be able to return this one. Fielding it at the goal line. Just need a couple of blocks. And that was a massive pancake. But the second one. Oh, no. That doesn't work nearly as well as we were hoping. We have one timeout. And a field goal wins it. But we, act, uh, we, bleh, we have to get down there first. And I'm an idiot. Why did I throw that? I knew that an interception would end the game. Ah. <sighs> And I just, I, what am I doing? We could expect to see them take the knee here. Uh, they won't yet, actually. So maybe, who knows? Maybe we can get a fumble, but I just can't expect much love. And I am incredibly disappointed. At this point, our biggest hope would be to let them score. But I don't know if that's going to be very possible. And that'll be the game. Surprised it's not the victory formation on third and eight here but they will hand it off and this is best case scenario we can let them score we might still have time to win this that is a crucial mistake 12 seconds left if we score and get the two-point conversion this could be ours kick is good oh this is gonna be difficult they made a big mistake not just taking a knee there so they're going to allow Gene Nunez to return this from the back of the end zone. Oh, no. Gene, nowhere to go. Ten seconds now. We have maybe two plays. Three as a maximum. Only one deep safety here. We'll see which way he goes. It's not towards Gene's side. I'm going to throw it up for Gene. He's got a step on his man. He comes down with it. Four seconds to go. We can still win this. We might be in striking distance. Run up and spike the ball here. Three seconds left on the clock. Fuck. Gene Nunez is too tired for the play. Typically, you'd see a Hail Mary here, but I think the four vert does a little bit better for you, so we'll see. Final play. Is somebody going to get open? Throwing this one up to the end zone for Khalif James. It's underthrown, and the clock will hit triple zeros. If that ball was thrown a little bit further, I think that's a touchdown. At the end of it, Richie couldn't get the mustard on it. Khalif had the step. But that stupid, stupid interception loses us the game. And it's so frustrating because that game was ours. It, we had the victory in our grasp and just threw it away. 37-29 at the end. Another close one. And unfortunately for us, our third loss of the season. Around the country? Hey. Hey. Number seven, LSU upset by a number 19, Bama in their own close game. We just couldn't get it done on the ground and those two turnovers. I, I can't get over how many games that we lose or that are so close. And it's almost all because we just can't win the turnover battle. Need to learn to hold on to the ball better. Richie goes 15 to 26 for 207 yards. Gets three touchdowns, but at the end of the day, under throws the final pass and it's not enough to get the win close but no cigar indeed we're gonna go ahead and advance the week you know if we won this we had a chance maybe of getting ranked but it's definitely not gonna happen now six and three for us as fiu advances to six and two well we are still in a battle we've got some guys visiting guys ready to visit but unfortunately uh, Sean Thibodeau will commit to San Diego State. That's kind of a bummer. One more guy that, uh, or one fewer guy that we can recruit. As a sneak peek for next episode, hey, maybe we got something going good for us. Herb Street will be in our corner. 
Although, once again, almost every category in our opponent's favor. FAU, 5-3. and three. They're 2-2 two and two in conference compared to our 3-2. and two. Uh, Let's just hope that we can do okay in front of these recruits that we got visiting. That's going to do it, though, for this episode. Thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you want to subscribe, that'd be pretty badass. Or if you want to see some, uh, some more gameplay head on over to our uh, Twitch channel. We're probably live right now at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. Regardless, thanks again for watching. And with that being said, you guys are the Short Kings. My name is Goonmaster. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.